Hello friends, welcome back to our channel. So in today's session, we'll see one more concept in uh, discrete mathematics. That is how to find the middle terms in any binomial expansion. So in our previous session, we have discussed about the binomial theorem. What is a binomial theorem? And uh, how can we find the binomial expansion? And also how can we find the general term in a binomial expansion? So without delay, let us start the today's session. That is how to find the middle terms in a binomial expansion. Middle term binomial expansion. Now let us have a quick recall on binomial theorem because with the with the help of binomial theorem we have to find the binomial expansion right so for any uh, binomial expression like uh, x plus y whole power n then that will be binomial expansion will be sigma r is equal to 0 to n n c r x power n minus r y power r so this is the binomial theorem and with the help of this formula we are di directly uh, expanding the expression that we are finding the binomial expression now for example for example see if n is equal to 5 n is equal to 5 then the binomial expression so how many terms will be there the terms number of terms will be 6 because it will start from 0 so r will start from 0 to 5 so totally we will be having 6 terms 6 terms so let us write here 0 1 2 3 4 5 that's it now among this which one will be considered as a middle term so we know that so you can find out the middle term in this way so we are having these two as a middle term so the middle terms will be second and the third okay second and the third similarly if n is equal to 4 if n is equal to 4 then how many terms will be there the terms will be 5 so r is equal to 0 to 4. Let us write out this one 0, 1, 2, 3, 4. So, if you, which one will be the middle value? So, you can observe the middle value is a second one. So, the middle term, middle term will be 2. So, that means here we are having a two formulas to find the middle term. One is if n is odd. If n is odd and if n is even so obviously if n is odd the number of terms will be even because here the r value starts from 0 so the middle term the, the total number of terms will be even so for any even number of terms there will be two middle terms so one is a 2 and 3 okay then Yeah. And if n is even, if n is even, then obviously we will be having the single term. Okay, if n is even, we will be having the single term. Okay, so what is the single term if n is even? So that will be n by 2 plus 1. So in this case, n is 4, 4 by 2 plus 1. So which is 4 by 2 plus 1 which becomes 3 so you may have a doubt that we are have we are getting middle term as 2 and we are getting here 3 so if we are finding the third term okay see don't get confused third term we are getting third term as a middle so third term means 1 2 3 so where r is equal to 2 that that what we are doing so t3 will be considered as t2 plus 1 third, third term will be t3 
tr plus 1 in the in the general term formula so we we have discussed in the general term like tr is equal to tr plus 1 so r plus 1 term sorry r plus 1 the term will be tr plus 1 which is equal to so and so this one so that means here 3 means the third term so now r value will be 2 so okay 0 1 2 r value will be 2 and similarly here also that will be n plus 1 by 2 n plus 2 by 2 so let us check 5 plus 1 6 by 2 and uh, what is this 5 plus sorry 3. <coughs> 8 by 2 okay so this becomes 3 this becomes 4 so third and fourth terms third and fourth terms are the middle terms so g 1 2 3 third term and fourth term so that implies here r is equal to 2 here r is equal to 3 so we need to find the first first of all we need to find which terms will be the middle middle terms then we have to find out the r value and just apply in the uh, general formula I mean uh, finding about uh, the general term right now let us write the formula and then we will solve it hope you understood this one see I will write here so first case if n is even in x plus y whole power n then middle term middle term will be n by 2 plus 1 okay n by 2 plus 1 similarly if n is odd in the expression x plus y whole power n then middle terms so here we will be getting two terms middle terms will be n plus 1 by 2 comma n plus 3 by 2 okay so these two are the middle terms so just remember these two formulas so that we can find out this one so that we have to find the general term formula okay now let us solve two examples each one is with n is even and another n is odd. So let us see an example. So let us uh, solve this example. So we need to find the middle term in the expression x plus 2 whole power 10. So here first we need to find what is the middle term then from that we have to find out the r value and then we have to apply the formula. Now here n is equal to 10 which is even. So, the middle term, a middle term will be, what is it, n by 2 plus 1, so which is 10 by 2 plus 1, which is, oh sorry, 5 plus 1, which is a 6. So, 6th term, 6th term will be the middle term. So, if it is a 6, okay, so 6th term. Sixth term means T 5 plus 1. So, R plus 1th term will be this one, right, formula. So, here T 5, fifth term will be N is equal to R. So, here, sorry, yeah, R is equal to 5. So, where R is equal to 5. So, if here, just a single thing. So, in the binomial expansion, the R value will be starting from 0. So, if it starts from 0, the 6th term will be 0, 1, 2, 3, 4 and 5. So, 5 will be the 6th term. Now, apply the formula. So, you can see uh, NCR. NCR means here N is equal to 10. So, 10 C 5 X power N minus R. So, here X here x is x itself so x power n minus r 10 minus 5 so 10 minus 5 i'll write it in the same way and similarly y power r so 2 so 2 power 5 so simply the result will be 
टेन सी फाइव एक्स पावर फाइव एंड टू पावर फाइव सो आई एम नॉट सॉल्विंग सो यू कैन सॉल्व द टेन सी फाइव एंड टू पावर फाइव सो दैट विल बी द रिजल्ट सो दिस विल बी द मिडिल टर्म दिस विल बी द मिडिल टर्म होप यू अंडरस्टूड राइट सो नाउ वील सी वन मोर एग्जाम्पल वेर एन वैल्यू इज ऑड वैल्यू राइट so let us solve the second problem so here we need to find the middle term in the expansion 2x plus 3 whole power 9 so here uh, n value is odd so here n is equal to 9 which is odd so the middle terms so we'll be having a two terms right a middle terms will be n plus 1 by 2 n plus 3 by 2 so where it will be 9 plus 1 by 2, 9 plus 3 by 2, which will be 10 by 2, 5, and 12 by 2, it is 6. So fifth term and sixth terms will be the middle terms. So we need to find the fifth term. Fifth term will be t 4 plus 1, where r is equal to 4. So 9 c 4. X power n minus r. That means a two x power n minus r. Nine minus four into y power r. So three power four. So which gives nine c four x power. First, right. Let us write the quotient. So two power five into three power four into x power five. So This is the first middle term. That means the fifth term, where r will be equal to four. Next, there will be another middle term that is a sixth term, which will become t five plus one. R and r is equal to five. So nine c five and two x power nine minus five into three power. Five. So which which begin which becomes nine c five, ah uh, two power four into three power five into x power four. So this will be the second middle term. So you can solve it. Okay, you can get the quotient and the power of x. The the term x power four term and x power five term. So this is the way we have to find out the middle term in any binomial expansion. so only the formula if n is odd so if n is even middle term will be n by 2 plus 1 and if n is odd just remember these formulas middle terms will be n plus 1 by 2 n plus 3 by 2 so these two formulas we need to remember and first of all we have to check whether n value is even or odd and we have to apply the appropriate one so we are getting the terms so we need to the r value will be minus 1 right if if we are calculating or if we are finding the fifth term if we are considering fifth term as a middle term then r value will be 4 if we are considering sixth term as a middle term the r value will be 5 so this just remember that one because the expansion will be starting from 0 onwards r will be starting from 0 onwards so from 0 onwards the fifth term will be fourth one right so hope you understood so let's stop here in our next session we'll see a few more problems on uh, this binomial expansion finding out of coefficients okay finding out of coefficients so that will be uh, for uh, uh, discussing in our next session right so let's stop here and if you are having any queries regarding this one uh, Feel free to post your doubts in the comment section. Definitely, I will try to clarify all your doubts. And if you really enjoyed my session, like my session, share my session with your friends, and don't forget to subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching. Thank you very much.